Good evening. I'd like to call to order the September 9th Committee of the Whole meeting. Clerk Boak, would you please call the roll? Councilmember Spadafore? Aye. Councilmember Hussein? Here. Councilmember Carter? Here. Councilmember Pelly Van Oglu? Present. Councilmember Brown? Present. Councilmember Cost? Here. Councilmember Garza? Here. Councilmember Jackson? Eight members present. All right, thank you. So we are to the minutes of the August 26, 2024 meeting. Vice President Hussein? I would move, sorry, I would move the meeting minutes as presented. Okay, we got a proper motion in place. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please state by saying aye. Aye. All those opposed, same sign. All right, motion passes. Okay, we are to the point of public comment on agenda items. If there's anybody in the public that would like to come down and uh, please state your name for the record and you have up to three minutes. Okay, seeing none, uh, public comment. Do we have any virtual? Uh, no. no virtual, okay, all right. Well, we will move down to uh, discussion action item B, resolution, grant acceptance, USDA forestry. Uh, see Jake is here to discuss this. Thanks for being here tonight. Uh, please make sure your green light is on your microphone and could you please explain what this grant is and why we're, re we're receiving it and uh, why we're expected to vote on it tonight. Thank you. Through the chair, this is Jake Brower, Chief Strategy Officer. I'm here with Lori Welch, our Sustainability uh, Manager. Um, it's a pleasure to be for you and we appreciate the expediency to which you uh, are taking this up on your agenda. Uh, we received notice of the uh, draft of this grant award on uh, September 3rd, uh, in which they told us that we had to have this uh, accepted and returned to them by tomorrow. And so it's, we're very grateful for your uh, immediate consideration. Overall, this is a $5 million grant for uh, forestry purposes to which the matching requirement has been waived uh, for the programmatic aspects of it. Uh, I'd like to encourage uh, and uh, um, Congratulate uh, Lori Welch on her work in the sustainability office. Uh, really, the investments that Lansing has made in its budget in hiring sustainability personnel. First, uh, Lori as a sustainability manager and then a sustainability specialist has uh, produced a very strong return on investment and has allowed us to pursue uh, many council priorities in a way that is uh, going to have long-term uh, dividends for the city of Lansing. So. Uh, we'd like to thank Council's role in uh, participating throughout this process and making that a reality. Um, as for the grant itself, I introduce Lori Welch. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks, Jake. Thanks for having me here to go into a little bit more detail about what this grant will do for the city. Um, it is a $5 million grant, as Jake said, and there's several different projects rolled into this. So we're going to first start with kind of a robust planning and public engagement phase. Um, we'll develop some education and outreach tools. Um, we will be planting at least 2,000 trees throughout the city in disadvantaged areas of the city. And we have some really exciting workforce development um, projects as well, where we'll be partnering with the Lansing School District and MSU Forestry to develop uh, career pathways in forestry. We'll be creating a paid internship program and we'll be doing a kind of a neat mass timber demonstration project um, and be doing some great um, case studies to share with the community stakeholders and actually other communities who are looking to do similar projects. Our partners in this are the Lansing Board of Water and Light, the Lansing School District, MSU's Forest Carbon and Climate Program and Mass Timber at MSU. Okay, thank you. Um, uh, Councilman Spatter for. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Lori, Jake, thanks for being here tonight. Um, real quick question, I think probably in the back of everyone's mind. Is any of this money eligible to be used on stump grinding? It is not. Okay. We are actively <laughs> looking for funds okay. that will fund that, though. All right, thank yeah. you. But good job on applying for I mean, this is really good stuff, so thank you. Thank you. Uh, Councilman Hussein, Vice President Hussein. Yeah, Lori, we appreciate you being here. You, you stated that, uh, 2,000 trees over the life of this, this program would be planted in disadvantaged communities. Where are those in the city of Lansing? How do we determine where disadvantaged communities are? So, <clears throat> excuse me, there is a couple, several screening tools um, that we use that um, determine by census tract where they are considered disadvantaged. 
most, I think over 70% of the city is considered disadvantaged and, and use, when we use these tools. So we aren't sure yet exactly because that will come out of the kind of planning phase, but we know that they will be um, kind of spread throughout the city in a number of those areas. Okay. And then this does speak to a communication plan, um, robust communication plan. Um, I would assume who, who's initiating that? Is that going to be Scott Bean as communications? We will be? likely contract that out and that out. yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. And then just a few other things uh, on the, so in terms of the grant period on the grant form, it, it says that it ends, uh, let's see, I think it's July 12th of 2029. It's the same thing in the grant narrative, but then on the application, it's, it's August 29th. Can you talk about that discrepancy? Yeah, and I believe that is because of the delay in getting this um, revised grant agreement. And I'll just mention when we first applied about a year ago, um, well, actually, it's more than that. We applied for a $30 million grant. We were awarded five. So we've spent quite a lot of time working with our partners to adjust that um, scope in the, in the budget to fit within what they were able to provide for us. Uh, Councilman Jackson. Thank you. Thank you, Lori, for being here. Uh, you mentioned, I mean, the $5 million grant, of course. I'm going to support that. But um, Jake, I heard you say something about that the long-term dividends that the sustainability program and Lori and her team has been working on has paid dividends or savings over time to Lansing, it sounds like. So I guess my question for Lori is, because we've talked about the budget for some years now and things that we could do to boister your position in the whole um, department, what would be your wish list if you had the ability, because you are talking to people who can help you, the ability to, um, what do you need money for your budget? Yeah. Um, right now we are having to pass on additional grant opportunities because we simply don't have staff to not just write the grant but implement a grant once we, it's awarded. We really are at capacity when you look at what we currently have um, already been awarded and are receiving. So I think still additional staff is very much a need for our office. And just to follow up on that, what would that staff person be potentially named? or like job duties? Um, I think in addition to helping administer grants, what we also need in sustainability is somebody to focus on um, materials management, recycling, composting, that's some services that we already provide. We're trying to build a circular economy, which means we're trying to keep things out of landfills for as long as possible. We already have a number of services and programs that we provide and we don't have adequate staff to do that so I would like to see new staff that could potentially do that grow that we're about to launch a food scraps collection program we're trying to figure out ways to keep organic material out of landfills and we just we need staff to do all of the things like that that we need to do okay thank you um, our next topic is budget priorities so I'll be trying to promote something like that for our priorities this year thank you Okay, thank you, uh, and I appreciate you too being here, Lori and Jake. Um, regarding the, the five million dollars, when will we receive that money, and are, is it going to be in one lump sum? It's over a course of five years, am I correct? It's a five-year project, but it is, I'm not sure if you have that to reference, is it a reimbursement grant, I believe? I thought I read somewhere that it expired in 2029. We can try and find that. Yeah, I'm not sure if I... We'll try and find that uh, between meetings and see if we can uh, give you a quick email. Uh, okay, I appreciate that. And so, and, and so, like, following up on your comment about uh, implementing grants, will you have a problem spending this money or getting it implemented? The whole not five this million? one. Okay, good. I'm sorry. We, the ones that we have already received, I think we are going to be able to implement. But when we're looking at additional grants, and there's a lot of them coming down the pike, that's where it gets, start to get concerned. Okay, thank you. Uh, Councilman Cost. Thank you, President Garza. Uh, Lori, so with this program, is this going to supplement and add to the tree planting program we have now, or is it going to replace that? We're going to use these funds for that. 
yeah, it's going to add to that. Okay, so we'll have an increase then of what we're planting now? Correct. Okay, perfect. And then uh, the second thing is, and I know that uh, Councilman Spadafore mentioned that the stump grinding, um, if you guys are working on it, if um, we could get sent some kind of status report on that, because a lot of the um, areas that the census track marks as um, the neighborhoods you're going to target, I mean, one of the issues is that they can't afford to have that stump ground out. They've got a, a stump at the you know street where I assume you're going to plant a lot of these trees. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I agree. I've heard that it is a very high priority and we just weren't able to fit it into this particular grant, but we would very much like to find a funding source to have that happen. I appreciate you both being here. Okay, and I have, I have one final question. Regarding the, uh, the forestry department, is this something that you're gonna have to contract out or is our forestry department gonna be able to uh, plant these 2,000 trees? It is in the budget to do contracted tree planting and maintenance to assist our forestry staff who is a bit resource strapped so adding that much on would be difficult for them so we do plan to contract that out okay now uh jake do you know if there's any uh, vacant positions in the forestry department are we currently trying to hire in that department uh, not offhand but um we should be having a uh, vacancy report due to you in the next uh, month at the end of next month uh, and so that can be uh, brought up uh, and we can look into that and see if we can get you an answer sooner on that specifically. Okay. All right, thank you. Okay, um, uh, Councilman Spadafore. I just want to clarify too, there is a advance or reimbursement process in this grant, so you can request my head time or request for reimbursement, but it's not a only delayed thing. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, seeing no further questions, thank you so much. Appreciate you presenting tonight. Thank you. Uh, and with that, uh, Vice President Hussein. Yep, I would move the resolution of grant acceptance, sorry, uh, with the uh, granting agency, the USDA uh, forestry. Okay, we have a proper motion in place. Do we have any further discussion? Mm -hmm. Seeing no further discussion, all those in favor, please state by saying aye. Aye. All those opposed, same sign. All right, motion passes, thank you. Okay, moving down, uh, we have budget priorities for discussion action item C. Uh, so this is an annual exercise. Uh, you should have it in your packet, the draft of the different ones that we've already submitted. Um, and this shall be transmitted to the mayor by October 1st. So if you have any additions that you would like to add to this budget priority list, please do so. Get them to me, get them to Sherry, and we will make sure that is sent over to the mayor on October 1st. Do we have any additional discussion at this time? Uh, Councilman Jackson. Um, just thank you for the opportunity. but. Um, as previously mentioned, whoever wants to get on board with that, I'll make that a budget priority to uh, fund additional staff for the sustainability department for the reasons we heard. So I think I just have to email you and Sherry, and I'm sure we'll have to talk about it if we do and if we don't. But hopefully we can hold them to the fire in budget season for this one this time. Because <laughs> it sounds like it could save us money in the long run. Thank you, Councilman Jackson. Do you have any additional discussion? All right, seeing no additional discussion, uh, I guess we are adjourned. <laughs>